let's have a look. So first of all, we've got what? Uh, nearly 3,837 signatures on uh, against Ali Dawa coming to Australia. So thanks to all of you guys who have um, signed it, shared it. And if you obviously you can only sign it once, so keep sharing it um, because we are making some ground. By the way, let me put it out there. Suzanne and Armin don't support this. Nope. And Suzanne, on, the, the, I they, did they not sign about, this. <laughs> yeah, they, they did not sign it. But they, but they, what's that word called? Um, I forgot what's a phenomenon called when 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 you when you talk about something. So it was strides on effect. That's it. So so but, but thank you for contributing to that as well because we discussed it and then a lot of people from Atheist Republic they came and they said, Armin and Suzanne, I've got no idea what they're talking about. So we support you. Well done. And I, I gained a couple of patrons as well. <laughs> and a couple hey, of really big super. Congratulations. Super thank you. <laughs> thank you. So fi finally, you know, I did something for fame and it actually worked. <laughs> <laughs> so so I had I have some good news. So obviously I've been writing using at the back of this petition. It's only three, as I said, three thousand eight. At that point it was three and a half thousand. It's probably gonna end up somewhere around five thousand or something. If <clears throat> if other ex-Muslims had supported, then it might have become a lot more successful, but fine, it doesn't matter. I can do it without you folks. I don't need you. <laughs> um I, I've got my own army, I've got my own uh, soldier sultanate. Okay, so um so I've been I've been writing to Peter Dutton, who is the minister for uh, Australian Immigration and Human Affairs. Human, um, um, he and Australian Border Force, Australian Immigration falls under that. It's very confusing because every couple of years they keep changing the names and ministries. Uh, so I've written to him, and uh, I'm gonna hear back from him as well. I'm pretty sure I will at some point. Uh, they just like to obviously not want to make a scene out of uh, so that's so that's why they don't say it. So, anyways, and I also had been contacting Curtin University, uh, which is in Perth, and that is the university that was going to host Ali Dava, um, uh, this debate or whatever you want to call it. Um, well, so, here's where I have a problem with you. Hang on a second. We'll, we'll, we'll come to that. So, so Curtin University have um, uh, they first tried to ignore me, but then. They're like, okay, they have actually distanced themselves and they have told the uh, the organizers of this debate that, uh, you know, you need to pull this down off uh, this website. Um, uh, what's that? What's the famous website? Um, where the, uh, uh, events. Yeah, Eventbrite. Eventbrite. That's it. So that, that that's where that's how it was advertised. You know, it was listed as 31st of December by Asaf Initiative. Um, uh, of Islam in Australia, uh, they were going to be held in this place. Uh, but I finally got an email from Curtin University and they said, Hi, dear Harris, apologies for the delay in responding, i.e. ignoring you. Curtin is not hosting and does not have a booking for this event. We have contacted the event organizer and Eventbrite to ask them to remove any references to Curtin from this posting. I wish I could show you the email that I wrote. Um, and it, well, actually, there was nothing. It's just public. I just copied and pasted from the actual petition. So Ali Dava, uh, there, there were some people, Ali Dava, uh, actually, hang on. Where, did, did, I, did I save it? Now, now I, I got to gloat a little bit. You know? um, here, look at him. Look at him. And he, he was watching our stream, by the way, guys. Uh, the one that I did with you guys. Look at Wait, him. I haven't seen this. So he said, love watching the humiliation of Harry, the white boy. LOL. Imagine simping, simping over noodles and starting a petition only for her to see. Hey, by the way, I can't simp over her because I haven't seen her face. I'm not a Muslim. So I don't, I don't fall in love with people who have their oh, faces no. covered. Oh. So, you know, so I haven't seen Noodle's face. So uh, I'm, I'm sure she's a very pretty girl. But again, um, she's also she's I think she's very young. She's half my age. So I don't I'm again, I'm not a Muslim. So, you know, I don't have a thing for uh, really, Wait, really young same. girls. Um, sorry. Never mind. <laughs> OK, OK, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, let me let me let me. Um, put Ali Dawa in his place. OK, so anyway, petition for uh, only for her to see you. you you're in okay apostrophe there, there's no apostrophe mm -hmm. needed there you're in inconsistencies and leave you i even signed the petition myself <laughs> <laughs> you idiot you you signed in your own demise anyway lol ha 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 can't wait to arrive in australia and see harry the kangaroo okay sorry son you're not going to be able to come to australia or at least not to this not to this university or any other university, because I'll make sure I'll use this. I'm not going to declare a victory on that so the petition stays up and I'm just going to send it 
Um, I, I, I downloaded the signatures and I think something like, I don't know, 400 pages with a lot of names on it, a lot of names who have said, so, you know, the hard copy makes a difference. So anyway, so um, that's it. Ali Dawa has been banned, but guys, please keep signing it. The link is in the description and this is a link, as you can see here. Um, I will eventually forward that to, uh, to uh, Australian Border Force as well. And he might get barred from entering Australia forever. But having said that, I personally think that he should be able to come to Australia, but just not on a on a on a um, uh, you know on a, on, a, on a public level. So he shouldn't be allowed to give a platform unless he renounces his view or his incitement to the to to execute ex-Muslims like myself. Anyway, so Susanna has a lot to say. You can have the last word. Well, I'm not going to rehash everything we've talked about before, guys. If you want to see what. Armin's and I, um, our stances on this, and then Horace joined in towards the end of that stream. Go to the Atheist Republic channel. I think we titled it um, Horace Sultan versus Ali Dawa or something like that. Um, so I'm not going to rehash what we talked about there. I'm going to talk about this new thing in with Curtin University. Okay, Horace. Well, first I will say that I um, disagreed with the government taking action on this. That's mostly what we talked about in the previous stream. I do have... Okay, so it's called Let Ali Dawa Speak. <laughs> Atheist Republic versus Hara Sultan. Um, so here's the deal. I'm, I think it is a better strategy to go after the places that are hosting events like this. I feel much more comfortable in terms of my stance on free speech absolutism. I think that's much more um, consistent for me. Um, but the nature of the event also colors this. Um, hey, hey, David. Um, so here's the deal. If he was lecturing, if he was preaching, that'd be one thing. But Horace, this event is literally a debate with him against atheists from the Secular Party of Australia. So you are literally trying to shut down a debate. Oh, right. Uh, so, um, <laughs> like, uh, and I think Ali Dawa debating these atheists is an excellent opportunity. Ali Dawa is very skittish when it comes to debates, right? He's, you know, makes a big noise about AP, apostate prophet. He makes a big noise about infidel noodle, but then, like, it never really materializes. Like, this is one he agreed to. I would have enjoyed really seeing him get trounced like and why are you shutting down this opportunity horace i wanted to see this yeah okay well, well, literally a debate if he was so, preaching if he was lecturing trying to promulgate his ideas and i mean you can say that that's possible within a debate but there are two people well equipped there to come right back at him hard right um so i it's it, as you, as you guys know, I'm actually against the cancel culture myself, but I think uh, the, the game has evolved a little bit. And um, canceling Adolf, giving Adolf Hitler a platform would have been probably a good idea. It might not, not have been as idealistic as we like to say that, you know, like if you if you put them in a cage, then they will, they will plan this secretly or, you know, people will still come out as a lot of people are saying, well, you know, you had already deplatformed a lot of conservative or Trump supporters and now... St look, the, the the storming of the Capitol building still happened, so these things can't go away, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I understand that argument, but there's no objective way to actually measure that, uh, how much influence people lose. Um, uh, if, if, they, if they are deplatformed to some extent, and as I said, it's not a very hard line to draw if it is at violence. If, he, if he's just talking about Muhammad flying donkey or whatever he wants to talk about, fine, I got no problem with that. Um, uh, this would have been brought up about execution of ex-Muslims and he would have uh, parroted the same narrative because no one has put a leash on this guy that this kind of language actually is bad. Now, I refer to the, this debate that I had with this guy, Uthman Bada, nearly two years ago, as you can see, ex-Muslims should be killed. He was very slippery. He, he at least, he wasn't as blatant in his hatred for ex-Muslims or, or open about it as Ali Dawa. He died dodged the question over and over and over again and then eventually said yes under islamic caliphate ex-muslims should be killed apostates should be killed 
Uh, and that was featured in multiple news store uh, news articles here. And I think after that, he did he. I, I don't know. He never apologized or anything, but he never re-uttered that. Before that, he was caught saying that privately. So what I need. So what happens is people like him, he can talk privately, but he would never be able to speak publicly about these ideas. And that that's how he won't be able to influence thousands and thousands of people. He could probably do that in his inner circle. But with oh, Ali Dava, uh, sorry, with, I'll wrap it up. But with Ali Dava, if you somehow make him realize that you cannot say things like that, like we are worried, right? There's so many things I want to say, but I know that if I said it, I'll get in trouble. So I shouldn't say it. There will, there will be some consequences. So he needs to realize that there will be consequences. He would need to, he, he doesn't have to buy it. He, he, he might still secretly believe in it or in his inner circle, he might still believe that Murtadin should be killed, but he wouldn't be parroting this narrative publicly in front of the world and hence would not be um it would be radical and now i i also get the part that where people say oh well you know he's saying that under islamic caliph come on that's all bullshit that's all a charade that he, he he just in his little mind he thinks that if he if he if he wraps it up around uh, with these words then you know he might not get in trouble and to some extent he might have been successful in his mind on youtube at least but you know i'm gonna go after him and try to expose him as much as i can well here's the deal like i think literally shutting down oh bye deb i love you um literally shutting down a debate with atheists i think is just it's it's not useful i want to see him debate these people i want to see him give it his best shot i'm not used to seeing him in a debate i want to see how people would pin him down on these things and also in terms of you're saying like oh well we you know just want him to not talk about this stuff publicly i want him to talk about it publicly because he's doing 90 percent of the work that i need done as an anti-theist activist because then i just it, 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 they do the work of we don't have to go around to people and prove that this is what they believe right Th this is what they're telling us that they believe we just have to do the extra 10 percent of work of highlighting it to other people you're saying oh well he can influence people publicly this way well so can we we can equally influence many more people when we highlight the disgusting things that he says publicly that's a boon to us I, I, I understand that part, but I think it's very idealistic and uh, I, I don't think it's true because when Osama bin Laden or these kind of people, when, when, when they try to spread hate so openly that certain people should be killed, yes, you would, ex you, you, would sh you would be able to show the Western world and people who are not Muslims or people who are not radical Muslims that, oh, look, you know, that's what these guys are saying. So that's why we should attack them. But there will always be people who believe in him and they, they, their beliefs will be reaffirmed. So there will be more radical Muslims. So when Osama bin Laden did, when, when he started with his narrative, he, he managed to radicalize a lot more people. Nobody, nobody was like, oh, okay, we, now we're listening to Osama bin Laden, so therefore I'm going to leave Islam or I'm going um, I'm, I'm to walk away from it. So I think, I, I think they, we, we live in a world where, and, and I also totally understand that I, I might pay the price for, the, for that too. Now people would take out my clippings as well. And I don't, uh, it's not like I'm giving any ideas, but I know it's going to happen. It, it, it was always bound to happen. And that, and that, for example, my speech in Germany, people have already tried to, you know, um, put it out, uh, put it out there that oh, look, he, what kind of views he's got over refugees and all that. So, um, and and it's quite possible that I might get deplatformed too. So um, that's just unfortunately the world we live in, and I'm just I'm sick and tired of playing by their rules. I, I, I would take advantage of, of any. Any hole there is, um, but anyway, I th that, that's that's my view. But uh. yeah, but I mean, okay. First of all, I think the comparison to Hitler is a very poor comparison because Hitler was running for political office. Ali Dawa isn't running for political office, and while I do agree that people who are inherently undemocratic should i don't think that they should i mean I'm, this opinion might change but i don't think they should be allowed to run for democratic office if they're inherently undemocratic uh, for me it's more excusable if he was preaching or lecturing which is a direct promulgation without any sort of countering i think i think there are better people around for uh for muslims that we can ha we can have a debate with People like him have already said uh, hateful things like that, that that incite violence or incite hatred, physical hatred towards uh, people like us. Um, and he's not a representative of Muslims either. So 
I think Muslims need to find better candidates um, who, who should be or we should be having debate with. So, yeah, I, I don't mind if we've shut down this debate. We've just we've just uh, shut down a hate a, a hate preacher. No, and, wait, um, wait. Ali Dawa is a perfect. <laughs> Have you seen him try to justify things? He would get, I would, I would. Yeah, but a lot of people buy him. Yeah, him. But, yeah, but, but there are half a million people who, who, who buy into his ideas and then half a million people are going to become a million people over time. So, you know, you, the, the ideas that you and I find, oh, they're quite ridiculous. And how can people believe in that? But people do, people are further getting radicalized and out of half a million people, only five or maybe one person has to take his message really seriously. And we've seen that and it happens with a lot of people. And, you know, come knocking on my or Armin's door uh, if they find where we are. So so, so I, I, I'm not willing to, to, to put my life um, in the hands or in the narratives of people like Ali Dawa. Um, and, and I think it also sends a very strong signal that F you, uh, bring it on. Um, so anyway, that, that's why yeah, I, I think mean, we should move on. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, just final thoughts like i think it's really difficult i mean it, this is a larger philosophical question is with with your speech do you always like speak to the lowest common den denominator whatever whatever you're speaking about right but then uh, wait shoot there was something else i was going to say oh yeah so then there's the other question i mean this is something i take very seriously as a free speech absolutist is that you're also shutting down what people are allowed to hear it's not just what people are allowed to say you're shutting down what other people are allowed to hear which could be useful or educational to them for a variety of reasons. I, I, I know. Well, maybe this is why I was never comfortable with the idea of free speech absolutist. I, I just never bought into it. Uh, and it's not because you can't yell, um, you know, fire in the theater. So, so it's not because of that. It, it's, I, I often wonder um, if, if people, and, and you said that uh, the, uh, the Adolf Hitler comparison was um, w w was a bad one because he was running for uh, political office. But it's it's only a matter of time. There will be people who will be running or who could be running uh, for office uh, who are inspired by uh, Ali Dao. So it, it, it's like there's so many things, there's so many events that can a chain of events that can happen, and then we just would never see it coming. Um, and again, you could call it a slippery slope fallacy or whatever. But um, to me, I think. It is important, and this is why I would never be call myself a free speech absolutist, because I think it's important for us to draw a line somewhere, and there's nothing wrong in drawing a line somewhere. As far as uh, you, you're saying that you, you're letting people, you, you're restricting what people should hear, yeah, I think um, it, it, it does happen, and this is why we, we speak about why people should not be indoctrinated with children. So you could people could extend that argument and say why are you restricting children to hear, uh, you know, uh, uh, hear these mythological stories as factual stories? Who are you to tell them? But where where we a lot of not we okay well a lot lot, lot of people um, who are anti theists they say that okay you can teach them this as a work of fiction not as a fact. Um, or, or you know some people go okay well just keep it in the science room not in the in the in the in the, in the religion class but not don't bring it in the science class well okay well why what is, in, intelligent design is a to the in their mind is a viable scientific theory uh, for the origin of the cosmos so why are we restricting people from doing that because we'll always have to draw a line somewhere and i think those lines are always blurrier than we think no matter how clever we think or how uh, st uh, smart we think that our arguments are uh, but there will always be disagreements on those. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with this though, anyway. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.